husband. He's at work. Hmm? You, we need to pray for your marriage. Amen. You hear me? Yes. This attacks will also leave. Thank you. you hear me? Yes. But I'm seeing money also. Money? Yes. Can you see it? No, no, no. You must ask me it's of what. So go ahead, come and I'll tell you what I see. Huh? There's something you need to be careful about. Speak to you. Otherwise, this can bring problems. You hear me? There are things that we people we can do. Later on, you find they come to get an attack. Us in our bodies. Huh? Yes, sir. Because you, you feel a lot of attacks in your body. Even here. Here. Coming here to your left hand side. You see, I'm feeling heavy. You see, there's a stone that you put it on top of your chest. But this is affecting you here. No? Did you do operation? No. No? No. What is happening to you? It's due to high blood pressure. Yes. The doctor said you have developed a Today God will heal you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I am talking too much. Let me stop. Yeah, because I saw I saw you going for a Yeah. You see what? It's not my portion. Jesus will heal me. Sir. God will come for me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me? Thank so this thing is affecting even here. Yes, it's true. Under your feet there. Yes. A serious problem. God bless you. God has still given you a chance. Fifty. Forty-nine. <laughs> Ministry go. Pray for more support in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for giving us strength in Jesus' name. Let your heart come back to his normal sights. Jesus, my child. For God is a healer, a story. Thank you for the child that is coming. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. I want a boy. A boy. Thank you for the boy and the girl. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you. You are seeing visions. I think that you are dreaming. I think that you are dreaming. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. So, 
That is man made. Those who hate this way. Thank you, Lord, for this deliverance. Tonight, you felt that you must leave a star. Turn this star. Turn your stomach. Turn your stomach. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, my name is Caroline Kampekete Salima. I'm coming from Zambia, uh, Ndola, which is the Copper Belt province. Uh, the problems that brought me to Charis Ministries, uh, I have fibroids and uh, I'm barren. Yes, I've been married for the past 16 years. Yes, that was the biggest challenge and I also have a heart problem due to high blood pressure. So those were the two things that brought me to Charis Ministries. The challenges that I had, especially with my high blood pressure, uh, uh, I have to check my BP every day. I have a BP machine and I have to take my medication on time. Then I'm not allowed to do certain tasks at home, like a heavy duty. Mostly I'm depending on, on the maid and the children around. Then with the issue of fibroids, I cannot conceive. My last child is now 27 years old and we have been struggling to have another child. Yes, uh, when we sat in a group, the uh, prophet Andres, he pointed at me and told me that uh, I should pray for my marriage. Then I didn't know which direction he meant. Then he said that he was seeing an accident and a lot of trucks. So I confirmed to say that, yes, my husband was a truck driver, and he asked me where he was. So I said he was in Botswana. He was on his way to South Africa. So he said I should pray for him. What he said, it was true, because indeed my husband is a truck driver. Yes, and uh, I've, I've been having dreams of an accident, accident, and we've been trying to pray over it, but we didn't know who exactly was going to be involved in a road accident. But yesterday, Prophet Andres pointed it out that it was actually my husband. And I can confirm the prophets to be true. Yes, the second prophet which I received whilst we were in a group, Prophet Andres said that uh, he was seeing my chest. It was my chest. It was like there was something heavy on my chest. Then I confirmed to say I had a problem with my heart. So what he said was true. And he said on the left hand side, you, are, you have a sharp pain. I said, yes, I've got a heart enlargement and I don't sleep on the left hand side. That I can confirm the prophets to be true. Then when I went to see him one on one, he, he still repeated the same prophecy which he gave me to say that uh, he was seeing, seeing an accident and that he, I should continue praying for my husband. Then he also said, you see a lot of dreams. You hear a lot of dreams, you are gifted. And each time you tell your husband, he doesn't take it seriously. Go and tell him to take your dreams seriously and to be praying over them. Then he also prayed for my... He, he, he mentioned again, he repeated to say that uh, I had a heart problem. I confirmed it was true due to high blood pressure. And uh, he prayed over it and he, he told me that uh, it was going to be fine. Then during the one-on-one -on -one interview, he pointed out to say that he was seeing fibroids, multiple fibroids. So yes. I confirmed to say, yes, it is true. I've been diagnosed with multiple fibroids. He said there were three fibroids, and he prayed that they were going to come out. Thank you. Uh, concerning the dreams, when he mentioned that I usually dream, 
I, com I, I confirm the prophets to be true because yes, it's true. Every time I dream and when I dream, the things usually come to pass. But when I spoke about the accident issue to my husband, he told me that I should not be telling him such type of dreams because there was power in my mouth. But I want to thank God for the prophets which came from Prophet Andres to say that I should pray for against that dream. And I should emphasize to my husband that he should take dreams seriously. Thank you. Yes, I want to touch where you feel pain. Yes. That's the This, this afternoon, I had a, an opportunity to meet with the Apostle, uh, Apostle Makananisa. Yes, he gave me a prophecy. Uh, he said that my husband loves me. He said, your husband loves you. He loves you so much. So I confirmed to say it was true, he loves me. Then he also said that... Um, he was seeing fibroids. He also mentioned that he was seeing three fibroids. So I also confirmed to say, yes, it is true. I have fibroids. He insisted and he showed me the position where they were. He said on the left hand, on the left uh, part of my womb, there was a bigger fibroid. And on the right side, there was another one. And on top right, there was another one. I confirmed to be true because that is what the scan was showing to say that I had the three fibroids and they, they were the ones causing that barrenness. Yes, and the man of God also said that uh, those fibroids were not true fibroids, they were just manufactured fibroids. And he prayed for me concerning those fibroids and he told me that I was going to come back with a child or come back and testify to the goodness of our Lord. Then he also gave me another prophecy. He said that he was seeing a vehicle. My husband is planning to buy me a vehicle. He said it was a Prado. So I said, okay, he has mentioned, my husband mentioned to say he was going to buy a vehicle. But he didn't tell me that he was even looking around where he could source a vehicle. But the man of God said, the, the apostle said that uh, he, the vehicle come from Japan. He has already contacted people in Tanzania to look for, a, for that vehicle. The, sorry, just to take you back, even the, the prophet yesterday, Prophet Andres, he also said he was seeing a vehicle, he was asking me for the vehicle. I said, me, I don't have a vehicle. He said, but there's a vehicle here which I'm seeing for you. So I said, oh, it's my husband who spoke that he was planning to buy a vehicle. So I still confirm the prophets to be true. The prophecies that I received today were all true. And the prophecies which I received yesterday were all true. In fact, yesterday, Prophet, Prophet Andres he said that he was seeing a business of, of blocks, where there were blocks and containers. I confirmed to say that I sell cement and I have containers where I stock my cement. Yesterday, I also received another prophet from Prophet Andres when he asked me about it. He was saying money, okay, money. Then I said, yes, I was doing a business. Then he said, I'm seeing blocks. Do you manufacture blocks? I said, no, I make, I sell cement. And the, where I'm selling from, there's a manufacturing company where they manufacture blocks. Then he also said, I'm seeing containers. I said, yes, I have two containers of cement. So he prayed for my business. So what I can say is that whatever the prophecies which I received yesterday were all true. And I'm happy 
because this is my first time to come to Charis Ministries uh, and I've never met Prophet Andres before, but whatever he told me was true. Everything was true. Even when I met the prophet today, it was my first time to meet him. I've only seen him on TV. But whatever he told me about my life, my, the fibroids, my marriage, whatever is happening in my life, everything, I stand to confirm that it is true. And I want to encourage all those who have problems like me, who are having challenges, maybe of barrenness or, or whatever kind of problem, please not to hesitate but to come to Charis Ministries. Here there's, there's a true God here. You are going to find a solution. Just come. God is in this.